Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, I'm going to be joined by a special guest. Go ahead, bro. Introduce yourself. Hello, people. You may have recognized me. It's me, Pranav Rose Kids. Yeah. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about, like, you know, what we, what can, what can we expect to see in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2, because there's been a new trailer showing some new stuff. So we're going to be talking about some theories and what we want to see and what we hope to see in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2. So since I have a guest, I'm going to let you start. So tell us, uh, uh, tell Fanaz, uh, Fanaz Kid, right? I think it is. Yeah, Fanaz Kid. Fanaz Kid. Yes, okay. So, so yeah, tell yeah, us what... He's the one... That voice did help Yeah, I voiced so, it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, uh, tell us what you. But link in the description. Yeah, yeah, I'll put the link in so, the description yeah, let's for talk that. About it. All right, let's talk about yeah, Camp Cretaceous season two. So, yeah, tell us what do you expect? To, like, what do you hope to see in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous season two? Well, basically, um, I'm actually want to see um the Ceratosaurus. What well, is cool to see the Ceratosaurus so, back? The dinosaur back again since it only appeared in one scene and that's just it never appeared again exactly it only had like you know 15 Three. exactly it only had 15 seconds of screen time in jurassic park 3 so that's not very much so i do agree with you on that however i think there yeah. i know if you look at the season two trailer do you remember the part when they shot the the flare gun and the like i think that was either ben or could have possibly been maybe like maybe there's someone else on the island, you know, like, like you know, we did see caged uh, stegosaurus, so there could be like you know, biosyn or manticorp on the island trying to take dinosaurs. You never know. Well, I think with who shot the flare, I think after the ending of Camp Cretaceous season one, um, I guess um, it will be the kid. What was his name? Ben. Uh, yeah, Ben. It got to be Ben. It's, I mean, I think I think it's Ben who <laughs> shot the flare gun. I I thought like I'd be shocked if it wasn't. However, um, I think there's more people on the island at this time, and here's why: because we saw caged up stegosauruses, and I think they lo it looked like almost they were being taken off from the island. So I don't know. I mean, it looks kind of cool. I don't know what's yeah. gonna happen, but and now we also okay. have like. So sorry, go ahead. You go first. Oh. So basically, um, so that, that somehow, um, it's a really good time of seeing the Ceratosaurus because it has been a really long time since 2021, but since, wait, 2001, yes, 2001. It's been exactly yeah. 20 years since we've seen the Ceratosaurus almost. Yeah, but basically we can finally see the T-Rex again since after we only seen it in intros and only one episode that's true but but here's some one question of a theory how did rexy and those velociraptors were on easel and sort it's confusing right yeah so like yeah i remember that back in season one in the opening scene we saw that there was the game that took place on sorna i just don't understand why the did they use the jurassic world raptors in the jurassic world t-rex when they're on newbar they should have used the jurassic park three velociraptors in the spinosaurus like well, i don't understand why they did that yeah because because if they replaced the t-rex that means we couldn't have seen the spinosaurus in season one I agree. It would have been great to see, like, you know, because it would have been great to see a fully grown spinal. Because I mean, obviously by now that would yeah. be a fully grown one. Like almost like a sub adult. Yeah. Or juvenile. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, so in and season. Then, sorry. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Go, continue on. What are you saying again? So yeah, in sorry, season. Bye. So yeah, in season two, I think I hope we we can see some epic battles. I mean, sadly, I don't think we will just because season one we didn't see any battles at all. But like, if we do end up seeing dinosaur battles in season two, what I really hope to see is the Ceratosaurus versus the Carn the Carnotaurus in the scene. Yes, that that's my one of my dream things. Yeah, I I also want to see the Baryonyx versus the Carnotaurus and the Allosaurus versus the Sugamimus. I'm not sure if Sugamimus or Dilophosaurus. Are gonna be in season two but if they are i'd love to see an allosaurus versus the sugamimus and also like you know what if we saw a dilophosaurus versus a velociraptor that would be amazing too oh yeah because everyone is dreaming about that i mean they teased it in jurassic world with the hologram dilophosaurus versus uh 
Delta, and then Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we, we hear a Dilophosaurus noise in the opening scene, and we see a statue of a juvenile Dilophosaurus fighting a fully grown Velociraptor in the mansion. Yeah. That's for sure. Like, but here's the thing, I'm not sure if they're in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, if it would have been a fully grown adult Dilophosaurus or a juvenile, just because we didn't see it or hear, like, we, we heard the noise, but like, we, did, we don't know for sure, right? Yeah. But I mean, if the Dilophosaurus is back in, in uh, Jurassic World Dominion, or even Jurassic World, because I mean, the Spinosaurus is probably not going to be in season two. I think there's a great chance it'll be in Dominion, but the Dilophosaurus, I think it has a much better chance of being in uh, season two or or even Dominion, just because we haven't seen the Dilophosaurus since Jurassic Park. Yeah, because since in the first Jurassic Park, we only seen the Dilophosaurus once. But somehow, if you didn't know people that in the Lost World, you can check in the monitor or the bloopers or something, I don't know. Um, you can see a monitor of the Dilophosaurus. That is true. I do remember that scene. That was really cool. For sure. But that wasn't canon because it wasn't like in a scene like we didn't see a Dilophosaurus though. That's true. But yeah, like, you know, for Spinosaurus, if he, if he's back in Dominion, we all hope to see him fully grown because he was a juvenile in Jurassic Park 3. And then same thing with Dilophosaurus, man. I mean, it was a juvenile in Jurassic Park, and we all want to see him fully grown. But I just don't know. I mean, I actually wonder if we're going to... Because, like, I don't know. I kind of have a, a bad feeling that we're not going to... Like, a sad feeling we're not going to see the Dilophosaurus, Sukumimus, or Allosaurus in Season 2. And here's why. So, for my past experience of watching trailers for jurassic world movies we only end up seeing the dinosaurs that are in the trailers and that's about it because for example when you go to jurassic world's trailer fallen kingdom's trailer and uh, camp cretaceous trailers we only end up seeing the dinosaurs that were in the trailers yeah because somehow somehow everyone is keep on asking this or somehow this made me really upset because that in fallen kingdom that um, all the dinosaurs that have survived, that the Ceratosaurus died, and even the Spinosaurus. Well, I mean, uh, uh, like, keep in mind, the red, like, okay, so the dinosaurs that were in the names of red on the newborn map, it's either, it's, it, 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 it means two things. It either means they're extinct or they've been subject to cruelty. And subject to cruelty means they were treated very badly. Then we all know the Spinosaurus was treated very badly by Dr. Wu in 1999. He abused him for, huh. he basically, he raised yeah. him for nine months in, in 1999 and abused him. And that's why the Spinosaurus shows major aggressiveness towards humans. Hmm. So, yeah, because somehow it will, because this is what I think, because somehow a YouTuber said that the Spinosaurus got three ways that died because there was two of them in Ease of Asperna, because one got shut down or they just extinct them all. Well, I mean, and, and if you talk about Jurassic Park 3, keep in mind, there was actually, like, I already talked about this before. There's act, there was actually only one Spinosaurus in uh, Jurassic Park 3. There could have been more Spinosaurus on Isla Sorna, but what I've been, what I, but I, but what I'm trying to say is that I think there must have been, there must have been only one Dr Spinosaurus in JB3, just because, like, you know, if you, if you, if you look throughout the whole film, you can hear the phone inside the Spinosaurus in basically every scene. So that kind of proves if there's only one Spinosaurus, you know? Yeah, because somehow um, a lot of Spinosauruses of their kind died by the T-Rex, but one of a juvenile killed a fully grown adult T-Rex. That is true. I mean, That's yeah. amazing. And on top of that, on one of the Jurassic World, one of the Jurassic World game websites called the Miniature Game, which is tied with Universal Pictures, talked about that the Spinosaurus killed the Navy that showed up at the end of Jurassic World Three to rescue. So, like, what happened apparently is right after JB Three, the Navy went in the forest to try to hunt down the Spinosaurus, and they found the juvenile Spinosaurus, and they fought the Spinosaurus in like an abandoned dam area, and the Spinosaurus ended up killing off the Navy. Hmm. And that's crazy. Because he was taking out tanks and stuff. So probably that. If the Spinosaurus took down one of the tanks down, because what if Chris Pratt saw the Spinosaurus? Well, he probably did, because like, well, I think I think he was part of that because you know, Owen Grady was part was you know part of the Navy in Jurassic Park Three. We see the Navy. Yeah, because he couldn't have seen him. Um, um, what was his name? Alan Grant. 
Yeah. So in Jurassic World Dominion, you'll probably recognize him again. For sure. But anyways, I think we should get back to the topic with Camp Cretaceous Season 2 because that's the title for this video. So anyways, uh, I just, I wonder what else we're going to see. You know, it would be cool to see a compi attack again. Yeah. Or even um, we might see a Giganotosaurus that was just announced this earlier. Or well, I imagine, I mean, weeks ago. I actually would love, I would love that. Imagine we actually end up seeing a Giganotosaurus in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2. I mean, sadly, I don't think we're going to. However, if we don't, I won't be disappointed because Giganotosaurus is 100% confirmed for Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah. Or if there's even a Season 3 for Camp Cretaceous, we might be probably seeing it. Uh, let's talk yeah. about season two for now on. Yeah, so we'll stick with, with season two for now. But yeah, there's also two Ceratosauruses. There's one that looks like, you know, it's not the same one from JB3, but it looks very similar. But then there's this new gray one, too. Hmm. So yeah, because the gray one, I didn't know it was a gray one. But if you can see from where the Brachiosauruses are drinking and all the other animals, you can see very closely in the trailer, you can see some dinosaur that looks like the ceratosaurus yeah that is that is true though it's like i think the reason why the ceratosaurus in that scene was not attacking the herbivores is because he probably was not hungry at that time or the ceratosaurus w is like probably doesn't think like you know i don't think the ceratosaurus would probably take on a stegosaurus because the stegosaurus would win and same with triceratops so maybe the ceratosaurus was either not hungry or he knew that the herbivores there he couldn't beat so he was just acting natural and go after herbivores that he can beat Hmm. So that's basically true. But yeah. Until he encountered with the kids, um, what were their names again? I'm always keep, keep on forgetting. I think all the kids. So in general, there's a uh, there's Darius, there's Ben, there's Kenji, there's Brooklyn, there's uh, what was the other girl's name? Um, Yas Yasmina, yeah. and the last one I forget the last girl's name. I think it was. Oh my god! How did I forget? Oh, I think yeah. I think it was uh, I think I think it was Sammy. Yeah, Sammy. I'm pretty sure Sammy, it was Sammy. Sammy. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy. And somehow, um, it would be like um, great seeing of a a ceratosaurus because what if like the ceratosaurus encountered with that burnt up Carnotaurus or it will, or the Carnotaurus we won't see it in season two is probably just healing itself the carnotaurus sure. well it would be it would be really cool to see toro fight the ceratosaurus i mean i wouldn't really i mean i'd probably i'd want the ceratosaurus to win but i still but whoever wins this would be a good fight yeah it will be an actual great fight though yeah because they're both the same size and same strength so because after i was watching season one i saw on the easter egg and dr Lou the lab that there was a skeleton of the spinosaurus in jurassic world i saw that too yeah that was the spinosaurus skeleton in jurassic world and for like for some reason some people were saying that the indominus rex has spinosaurus dna i don't think it does because it because if it did it would grow bigger and this the indominus rex would probably have like you know a sail on its back yeah so yeah the indominus rex did not have spinosaurus dna that's impossible yeah, that's impossible. Yeah. Just, it's kind of like saying, like, you know, saying the Indominus Rex has Spinosaurus DNA is kind of a similar situation to saying the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 is an adult, and we know both of those situations are both impossible, so. Yeah, they're very possible, of course. Because that, if, if the Indominus Rex had DNA with the Spinosaurus, it would be different because it, the Indominus Rex would have um, the legs of the Spinosaurus. You yeah. even have a dorsal fin of yep. the Spinosaurus. True, it would, exactly, yeah. So, like, the Indominus Rex did not have the Spinosaurus DNA, that's for sure. Yeah, because the Indominus Rex was made by different things. It like was, even yeah. even an Allosaurus. Yeah, there was, I think there was, the, there was Allosaurus DNA in the Indominus Rex, that's for sure. Yeah. Because of the crest and Because it was made by, even it was made by Velociraptor and T-Rex. And yeah, there's a lot of things in the Indominus Rex. Even like frog DNA, cuttlefish, fish. cuttlefish. Yeah. Yep. Cuttlefish. Yeah. In fact, here's the here's here's a here's a here's part of the reason why the Indominus Rex didn't grow super big. Just like you know, because we all know we all know that the Spinosaurus would get bigger. But the reason why is because the, <coughs> the Indominus Rex had cuttlefish DNA, and cuttlefish DNA stops 
stop the Indominus Rex from growing to a really big uh, size. Yeah. But the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 did not have cuttlefish DNA, which allows him to grow to a really big size when fully grown. Yeah, because if the Indominus Rex had more DNA, it would be fully grown. Yeah. Because it probably the Indominus Rex and the sub or some or the adult Spinosaurus, we do not know who wins. Yeah. But let's talk about season two for now on. Yeah, season because two for now on, yeah. So, if we actually seen Dilophosaurus or Giganotosaurus, um, the first thing I would like about the Giganotosaurus is that if the Giganotosaurus fought um, Rexy in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2. That would be a really good fight, too. And here's the thing. If they show if they show a T-Rex versus the... I've, no, my bad. If they show a T-Rex versus the Giganotosaurus in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2, or even Jurassic World Dominion, I actually don't care who they pick the winner. I mean, personally, I like Giganotosaurus more, but probably a T-Rex would win just because of the massive bite force is stronger than Giganotosaurus. However, the Giganotosaurus would put up a nasty fight. Like, the T- like the, the Giganotosaurus is not going down without a good fight to the T-Rex. That's for sure. Because somehow, it wouldn't be good because... The Giganotosaurus has small arms, just like the T-Rex. True. Yeah, like I say, I think I think if the Giganotosaurus had longer arms, I think then it would be a tie, or the Giganotosaurus would just barely win. But since the Gigan- but since the Giganotosaurus has small arms, then you know I think that the the T-Rex would probably win. Yeah, the T-Rex would probably win, but also the Giganotosaurus can fight with its legs and probably push Rexy over. With its massive body. Oh, for sure. The Giganotosaurus, I mean, maybe the Giganotosaurus can't beat Rexy in her prime, but the Giganotosaurus can definitely push Rexy over. That's for sure. Yeah. Because it actually makes sense. Because if you look at somebody's YouTube channel, he he might talk about it for you. Yeah, I do remember that. There's there's the description. True. I do remember that. There was a guy who talked about T-Rex versus Giganotosaurus, and it was very accurate, too. I, I did... I really enjoyed that video. Yeah, me too. I, I reacted to the video too. Nice. But anyways, I mean, I want to see the Demorphodons again because we have we we haven't seen them for a while. I, I don't understand. They should have been in season one. Like that was just you know like that got me disappointed. I hope we see the Demorphodons in season two. The other yeah, the Demorphodon. other yeah they're like they're they're similar to, to Tyrannodons with like a different head shape and they're smaller. Yeah. So it would be great to see them again. But, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what we can expect to see. Like, I, all I know is that we're not going to see Sorna or Sorna dinosaurs, like Spino or anything else, just because this is on Isla Nubar, and we know there's no Spinosaurus on Isla Nubar, so. Yeah, but only the skeleton, though, of the Spinosaurus. But True, that the isn't skeleton, the same yeah. Spinosaurus, because T-Rex fanboys think that that's the Spinosaurus from JP3, but me and Spinosaurus that came that no, it's not, because... The Spinosaurus has two bumps on its head, and that Spinosaurus has one. only has one. Exactly, yeah, that's not the same Spinosaurus. And also, I'll talk about this in, a, in another video, but some people are saying that the T-Rex in Jurassic Park 3 is a juvenile, and the Spinosaurus is a fully grown adult, but we all know it's the opposite. The T-Rex was a fully grown adult in Jurassic Park 3, and the Spinosaurus was actually the one that was a juvenile, but, you know, T-Rex fanboys are never going to admit that because they're just, like, you know... All they care about is T-Rex, right? Yeah, all they care is just T-Rex, T-Rex. Yeah, yeah like... Like, T-Rex like, is not the king. Said, like, 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 what if we said that the Spinosaurus was a juvenile and the T-Rex was an adult, but it wasn't, right? Spinosaurus the king? Exactly, but, like, here's the thing. In the Jurassic Park franchise, the T-Rex is not the king. Like, the Spinosaurus is the king of this franchise. I mean, I know T-Rex is more popular, but in terms of, like, strength, the Spinosaurus is the king. It's stronger than T-Rex, faster, smarter, and way bigger, too. And the, it's bigger than the Indominus Rex as well. In the real, But I will yeah. admit this. In real life, maybe in real life, the T-Rex is the king because the, the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus is a hybrid, so I mean, it, that makes sense. The real-life Spinosaurus looks more like a duck. But like I'm just saying, in the Jurassic Park franchise, the Spinosaurus is the king. Yeah, because it's definitely true. For sure. I mean, anyone who doesn't admit that are just Indominus Rex or T-Rex fanboys. Because I mean, even the other day, I made a post on Instagram talking about why the Spinosaurus would demolish Rexy or the Indominus. And I'm pretty sure you saw that, right? Yeah. Exactly. But somehow, 
when this video is posted, T-Rex fanboys might be commenting that the Spinosaurus was a grown adult. Yeah, no, the and people then, always people do the people do that every day towards me, but I don't yeah. I don't really listen to it because we, we at, because at the end because at the end of the day they're wrong about that and we all know so. Yeah, because we all know because they're always wrong. Well, so, yeah, they're definitely wrong. My favorite yeah. thing in Camp Cretaceous is that when the Baryonyxes come out of the bushes. That was that really cool. Really cool. Yeah, that's the Baryonyx squad. There's Grim. There's uh, Limbo, Chaos, and I forget get the other one's name but there's, there's there's like a pack of three to four baryonyxes that are going to appear in a season two and i'm excited i'm excited to see the pack of baryonyxes yeah because like um even the we might see the baryonyx from um from jurassic world fall kingdom before because you can see in the very first trailer of season two it looks just like it yeah yeah but it's true here's my question how big because Spinosaurus the King might talk about this other video because here's the question why like how did the Baryonyx um, escape out of that hole in that um, room where Ellie and his, and her um, and his and her friend um well I'm not too sure actually yeah so Spinosaurus the King might make a video about that very soon yeah, that, actually, that, that could be a good, that could actually be a good another Baryonyx video. I can talk about whether the Baryonyx in Fallen Kingdom was like, you know, because we see, we see the very, we see the Baryonyx in a few scenes, but like, I'm not sure if the Baryonyx in the second scene was the same Baryonyx that was in the underground tunnel. Yeah. But, we want to see the King seen this very cool scene that it shows the kids seeing a skeleton of the um, Giganotosaurus skeleton earlier or the Titanosaurus that was um, the same the dinosaur died in Fallen Kingdom because you can see in that where the Baryonyx was yeah you can see a dead dinosaur right there and it was part of the T-Rex kind oh yeah I, for I forget the name of it it begins with a, it's like 10 I don't, I don't know the name of it but like Clayton Fioriti talked about that like T Rex looking dinosaur. I wonder if we're actually going to see that in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous season two. If we do, that would be really really cool. Yeah, because it's just like the same thing with the T Rex, but it's smaller though. Yeah, it's like a smaller Tyrannosaur dinosaur. So, if if we've seen um, the Dilophosaurus back in Camp Cretaceous again, that means um, the kids would interact with it. And they probably might find that um, bottle from that the sheet shaving cream with the DNA. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yo, if they actually find that in season two, that would be really cool. Yeah, and they probably might um, take it to um, to um, the people who own it. That that, that would be interesting. They found it. For sure. Oh. What if this became a scene in Jurassic World, Camp Cretaceous, if the kids went inside in the old Jurassic Park place, just like in Jurassic World? That's what I want to see. Like, what if we end up seeing a battle inside there too? Like, you know, Carno versus Barry in there, or Ceratosaurus versus Carno in there, or something like that. Yeah, but if we seen a actual real battle between the Ceratosaurus and the and the Carnotaurus. That would be awesome. Because here's what the fight would go. So probably the Ceratosaurus and the Carnotaurus, it would be a tie because you know how hurt the um, Carnotaurus is or Toro. True. Like here's the thing, I know the Carnotaurus has another horn and the Ceratosaurus only has one horn, but the Ceratosaurus has better fighting experience since it, it fought dinosaurs like Allosaurus and it also has longer arms too. So. Yeah. It could go either because, way. Because if, if, if we heard Darius said about, like, he was talking about the Spinosaurus, because in the computer, like, they were talking about it, the Spinosaurus. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Like, I mean, yeah, I wonder, about... like, like, I'm not sure if we're going to, like I said, I, like, the chance of us 
the chances of us seeing the Spinosaurus in season two are very, very slim, but this chance, the chances of the Spinosaurus being mentioned are, are like, you know, average at this point. I wouldn't say they're high, but I'd say it's like a, a 50% they're going to mention the Spinosaurus and like a 10% a chance we're going to see it out of 100. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Because what I think that um, if Darius said that it's really disappointing for us that he said that a way a dinosaur that can defeat a um, a Spinosaurus was a Allosaurus. Because if we heard him say about that, we'll be dis- disappointed. And we'll be mad. The Spinosaurus sure. would actually, like, it would, it would destroy the Allosaurus, that's for sure. Yeah, if it wasn't an adult. Yeah, or even the juvenile Spinosaurus would destroy because, like, look how fast it killed the T Rex, and T Rex is bigger than Allosaurus. Yeah, but if we see an adult Allosaurus in Battle of Big Rock, um, the juvenile would still win. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Even a juvenile Spinosaurus could beat the adult uh, Allosaurus. That's for sure. A hundred percent. Yeah. It's bigger. The, the Spinosaurus in JV three is actually bigger than the Battle of Big Rock Allosaurus by a little bit. Not a lot, but like the juvenile Spinosaurus in that film was about a meter bigger. A meter and a bit yeah. bigger. So, um, is that all for today's video? Spinosaurus the King? I think so, yeah. I think we basically covered anything. But anyways, guys, tell us, what are your thoughts on this? What, what do you guys hope to see in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2? Tell us in the comments yeah. down below. To end this video, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my YouTube team, Patrick Wan, my 2D and 3D animator, David Church, the best director I met on Instagram. BK Go Crazy, my very first hardcore Spinosaurus fan. Zane Schiller, my first friend in the Jurassic Park community on Instagram. Anthony Ellis, my drawer who draws epic background pictures that I use in some of my videos. Rafley Sarager, my comedian, since he makes me laugh the most. And Animal World, my best dinosaur friend in real life. If you're interested in any Spinosaurus the King merchandise that I'm selling on my Patreon, the link will be in the description. I'm currently selling t-shirts based off the animations that me and Patrick make, which costs $40 to $50 per shirt. Sweaters are a bit more expensive, unfortunately. Coffee cups are about $32 per one. I'm also selling custom Photoshop pictures to use for whatever you need, some for which is $5 per one. If you're a fan of my discussion videos and wish to be on one discussion video a week of your choice for 35 minutes for the discussion video. That will cost $15 a month. It'll be basically like we talk about whatever you want. If you wish to support me to get better content from me, then contact me through my email or other social medias to talk about it. If you wish to have a 10 second cameo of getting eaten by a dinosaur of your choice in upcoming animations, that will cost $5 a month to appear in each upcoming animation. Receiving deleted scenes of previous animation films is $10 a month, which will give you a concept art and deleted scenes about two a month. Me and Patrick have our own website where we talk about our series Jurassic World Survival of the Fittest and where we also post concept art of our upcoming projects. And we also post Jurassic Park dinosaur theories. Like for example, we have the Spinosaurus the history of it and we also have jurassic world strand on size remaster coming soon and future projects will be posted on our website so if you're interested in reading jurassic park fun theories and to speculate come check out our website also if you guys wish to join my discord server to chat with me about jurassic park and other stuff you're more than welcome to just remember to be respectful and polite the link will be in the description below to my website and my discord if you're enjoying the content on my YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything new. Leave a like and a friendly comment. If you have any friends and family who you think would enjoy my content, please share this video with them and also my YouTube channel too. And don't forget to do the exact same thing for my YouTube team and have an amazing day everyone.